Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about shingles. Number one, shingles is caused by chickenpox. Well, kind of. Both conditions are a result of the same virus called the varicella zoster virus. But chickenpox always precedes shingles. So the good news is that if you haven't had chickenpox yet, you're off the hook for shingles. Unfortunately, for the majority of the population who have had chickenpox, the virus that can cause shingles is lying dormant in your body. Luckily, it can stay dormant for life, but for many people, it reactivates and causes shingles. Number two, vaccines are available to aid against shingles. A shingles vaccine should only be administered to people who are 50 years old or older, possibly because that's the most common age range for someone to be diagnosed with shingles. However, getting a shingles vaccine doesn't immunize you from getting shingles. Just above 50% of people who are vaccinated are protected from shingles. For those who do develop shingles despite getting vaccinated, the pain of the resulting condition can be less severe and chances of developing chronic pain decrease. Number three, shingles is more common than you might think. About 20% of Americans will contract shingles at some point in their life. That's a staggering one in five. Most cases occur in people 50 years old or older, but cases can occur at any age, with the only precondition being a previous case of chickenpox, a requirement satisfied by most of the population. Number four, the virus that causes shingles never leaves your body. We learned earlier that shingles is caused by a dormant virus, and when the condition has run its course, the virus goes back to being dormant. Because of this, there is no cure for shingles, as the virus can never be removed from the body. Number five, shingles can be contagious. Sort of. The fact is, you can't catch shingles from anyone. The only way to get shingles is by having your dormant virus decide to reactivate and cause shingles. However, shingles can be contagious if the person being infected has never had chickenpox before. And when that happens, it causes chickenpox rather than shingles. This is good news for the majority of the population who has had chickenpox. But for the few who haven't, people with shingles should be avoided. Number six, shingles can reoccur. Like chickenpox, you can get shingles more than once, but cases are rare. For most people, the virus never reactivates a second time. Number seven, most shingles patients experience a relatively quick recovery. In fact, the average patient feels back to normal within a few weeks. If rashes occurred around the eyes, recovery generally takes longer and vision loss might even occur. But barring complications, shingles recovery should be short. Number eight, shingles is painful. While chicken pock rashes are characterized by itchiness, shingles rashes are just painful. There are other symptoms of shingles that are unrelated to the rashes, but that can also cause severe pain, including headaches, chills, fever, and nausea. Number nine, shingles can lead to long-term problems. Although most cases clear up within a few weeks, about 40% of cases progress into a condition known as post-herpetic neuralgia, also known as PHN. PHN is painful and can last for years, if not for life. There are treatments for PHN, but they are only moderately effective. Number 10, treatments for shingles exist. Ideally, you should begin treatments within the first 48 hours. Some treatment options include prescription medications like acyclovir, famcyclovir, and valacyclovir. Pain medications like ibuprofen may also be taken. I hope you learned something. Have you had experiences with shingles? Let us know about it in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Thanks for watching.